What's up, Three Thugs? Break here, and we've got Kyle is Famous again. So the last time, I believe... I believe I became a nudist. I think that's correct. Let's see what I can do this time. Okay, so we're going to skip this. This just talks about, you know, again, um, Kyle is a famous talk show host of Stay Up Late with Kyle, and he is an eccentric, dumpy white man. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. We're going to exit the bed. Uh, Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Now, I think I wanted to try something with the armor. So we're, we're going to do that first. Open the closet. Uh, Kyle opened the closet. We're going to choose an outfit. It was dark and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Okay, choose an outfit. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. Now, I really want to try this out. Something tells me this is going to be goofy if I try to take this to Gabby, the downstairs neighbor. Like, I'm going to show up and, you know, want to be Scuba Steve or something. I have no idea what skunk pasties do. Not a clue. But uh, we're going to go. A slick suit seems like it could be. Well, I'm going to try one of these times. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe the next time. I want to do like an honest to God, actual normal interview where I wear a normal suit. I eat a meal and everything's copacetic and I go to work and I do a great interview. So I do want to try that. But right now we're going to do a suit of armor. And my thought process is maybe if I show up to see, talk to Gabby she'll actually let me join her as a sidekick. So I don't know. We'll see. That might be wishful thinking, but we'll see. So Kyle was unaware of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor. Uh, hello, vigilante. But it felt like the right thing to do. After much squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. I hope he took a shower the night before. That's not even an option that I come up on here. He's not a person that showers in the morning. He must have showered at night. Either way, okay. So back to room. So I'm right now. I'm sweaty, and I've got the armor on, as you can see here. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. So what we need to do? We need to scavenge because we want to gossip. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for. That's still so wrong. Uh, gossip. What are you so happy about? Kyle firmly pressed his ear into the carpet, hoping to hear some stray words from the neighbors below. So wrong. So wrong, dude. Kyle, you're famous. You're a dirty man. I heard Rachel May is going on a trip out of the country soon. Oh, girlfriend, tell me more. I wonder if that means anything. That she's going out of the country. I wonder if I, like, really impress her that she'll invite me on the trip. Hmm. Oh, girlfriend, tell me more. More? Well, what I will tell you is that every night I don a mask that looks like a bug and fight misdoers. Oh, yeah. More. There was a stunned silence. It could have been just there's a silence, but I mean, I guess we'll assume they're stunned. Then a door opened and someone exited the neighbor's apartment. Okay, that's quite enough. I got 18 hours left. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Okay, so now... I feel like... I should have... No, I can still do that. No, that's... Uh, I said a desk. I feel like I want to get the key. I still don't know what the key does. And I want to figure that out. So, we're going to sit at desk. Uh, Kyle made his way over to his desk and sat down. Eventually, we are... Oh, so uh, I think I need to do the right notes for the interview. For the... Oh, my gosh. That, get, that gives me three more options. So, not only I got to eat breakfast, I got to put on a slick suit. I got to figure out what right questions allow me to really nail this interview. So, there's more options there. I haven't did that since the first video. Okay, so we're gonna check in desk drawer. Kyle opened up the side drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items stored there. We definitely want the small key. Kyle grabbed the small key, kept the desk, because so now we got armor, rumor, key. Uh, back to desk. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. I'm, I thought I was sitting at the desk. Uh, back to room. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. We got 13 hours. Okay, so I do wanna eat before I go downstairs. Do I have enough time to eat? Oh, goodness, I don't know. I do need to eat, though. Uh, exit bedroom to hallway. I uh, hope that key doesn't cost me anything. Okay. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together. We're going to move to kitchen. Only 11 clicks. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. We're going to check pantry. 
Oh, what is it? Unlock with small key. Oh, I found out what the key does. Kyle wanted to access the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. Yeah. The pantry door lock creaked as if it hadn't moved for years, but eventually... Wait. Why was the pantry even locked to begin with? What is he trying to keep himself out of? That's very odd. So he's got a locked door in his house with a sewing machine in it, and he's got a locked pantry. Either... He's trying to cut back on food. I mean, I guess he is a dumpy man. Maybe this is a way to, to diet. He's only got one actual outfit. I mean, it said hanging shirts. But what's up with the sewing machine in the last video? And it was half pulled out. Does he make his own clothes? Hmm. Can I make my own vigilante suit? Okay. So look in pantry. And instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains, Kyle's pantry is stored... His massive amount of bottled lard. Ignore the pantry for not chug. <coughs> That's disgusting. <coughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, okay, so I have a weak stomach. <laughs> That's gross. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't even want to see that part. I grab a bottle of lard. Yeah, you know what? Um, we are going to ignore the pantry for right now. Ooh, my eyes are watering. Okay. Oh, shoot, I'm running out of clicks. I am not gonna make it, am I? Son of a gun. I have to eat something, but seven clicks. So I gotta walk. I gotta return to hallway. That's one. I gotta exit the the apartment, and then uh, and then it takes me to the middle of the road. And then I'm going to uh, go to the neighbor's house and then expectantly, oh shoot, am I going to starve to death? We're going to return to hallway. We're going to leave apartment. Uh, Kyle walked out into the middle of the road, took a long pondering look around. It. That's still so funny. Why didn't he just like walk out of his apartment? Because it says visit downstairs neighbor. They live underneath him. Why does he walk all the way to the road and back? That's so odd. Five hours. Oh, jeez. Kyle approaches down store's neighbor door and knocked more. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked Kyle like, unexpected. Oh, no, no, we're going to do it. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly, asked Gabby about being a vigilante. Gabby asked Kyle, are you the bug vigilante more? Get for a moment, Gabby looks dumb, but then she realized his seriousness more. I don't know if that worked. And I don't know if it's supposed to give me anything up here. Oh no, I think I missed it. Kyle hurried to the set more. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. Um, as Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Okay, approached, approached Rachel. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Awesome. Kyle responded, uh, we're going to answer politely this time. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Shake hands. Okay. After another mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. So, so, so far, I haven't... My eyes are watering. <laughs> a freaking chick, like, choking slash gagging. After other mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. Okay, so like I said, so far, we aren't starving to death, so that's a good sign. Oh! <laughs> I didn't get enough information for her, and she didn't even offer me... Dang it, I think I screwed that up. But we got a new option. Gossip about neighbor. Oh, so, a moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broad broadcast or gossip about neighbor. You know we gotta do the gossip, we just have to. Good evening, everybody said, Kyle. My neighbor is the is a bug vigilante? Is there more than one? Should be the bug vigilante, and shouldn't that be capitalized? Whatever. More. With nothing more to say on the matter, he fell silent. Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> I think he would have talked more about it. Uh, Rachel, also on camera, stared at her hands and wondered when she was going to be introduced. <laughs> Dude, you just freaking neglected your, your most important interview. Oh my goodness, more. The producer started cutting to different camera angles to break the tension. <laughs> that's all. More. Kyle continued to remain silent and stare for blankly. He's not saying anything. Dude, come on. 
After several minutes, neighbor Gabby <gasps> walked out onto set. Oh, how did she get in there? I mean, I guess if she's a bug vigilante, she has methods. But still, you can't just walk on a set. Dude, they would have tackled her. Unless they did, she kicked her butt. Hi, everyone, she said, smiling hollowly. Wait. It's got an exclamation. So it's like, it's like excited, but, but hollowly. Hi, everyone, she said, smiling hollowly. Hi, everyone. I don't know. That would be through gritted teeth. My name is Gabby, and I am not a bug vigilante. I think we know different. False. Kyle looked at Gabby and then returned to staring forwards. Wait, what? <laughs> so she walks in and he goes. <laughs> I, I can't help. I'm thinking of the office right now. False. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> so he's all. He's all. I'm just picturing with his hands together. False. <laughs> and then returned to staring forwards. Okay. Gabby began to reply, but was interrupted by a bug-shaped intercom on her belt. Ah, dude, she's busted. Bug girl, it squawked. A robbery is in progress on East Third Report. Immediate. Someone got busted. Gabby threw the intercom on the ground. <laughs> dude, you live in an apartment underneath. I'm assuming it's not like, I don't know, he's famous. I'm, he should live in like a giant, you know, building with like, you know, 150 to 100 floors. But no. Gabby threw the intercom on the ground, crushed it underfoot. I guess she has more. Okay. That was obvious, though. That just made you look more guilty. After a beat, she spoke again. Something has come up suddenly and I must go. <laughs> That was so lame. That's like that's like Adam West doing it all corny and campy. Something has come up. Suddenly, I must go. More. Gabby left the set. Well, said Kyle, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for joining us, Rachel. What? Oh, you gonna let Rachel go? What are you doing, dude? Oh my gosh, you totally freaking insulted this poor woman. Ah, oh, she came on the show to talk about her food show or food whatever, and you're screwing it up. Good job, dude. Good job. Kyle got up, shook Rachel's hand again, and walked past the cameras, leaving her alone. And the last few times that everybody's left him alone, but now she's he's just ditching her. Dude, rude. Dude. Dude, you're gonna lose your show. Well, I don't know. Maybe you won't lose the show. I mean, the bug vigilante just 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 got outed on his show, so. Maybe it won't go down the tubes. Not knowing what else to do, the producer ended the broadcast. Yeah, he's a little nervous. Oh, shoot, I'd be worried. I guess if it was a company, it might be... I don't know, if it's a journalist thing, that'd, make, that'd be a big story to go after. I don't know, I think they'd also, as a corporate, might be afraid to be sued or something. I don't know. In the coming days, fans of both Rachel and Kyle dubbed this show as a masterpiece of television. I don't know if I would have called it a masterpiece. But I guess it would be cool because, for Rachel, because she was there and witnessed the event. But Kyle, I mean, he's the one that outed her. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You just outed the vigilante. I'm assuming Gabby does good things for the city. I mean, as if comic books ever told me, you know, they do good things. But whatever. Stay up late with Kyle's online pages were updated to reflect this broadcast as the most popular ever. Like I said, I thought it was going to be a bad thing, but then I realized, okay, oh, it could be a good thing. Why online pages? Why not just stay up late with Kyle's website was updated to reflect his broadcast as the most popular ever. Online pages. It's a very interesting way to say that. That's like the hallway that connects all the rooms. <laughs> More. Kyle's producer later tried to have Rachel on the show again, but she was very, very, very busy. Dude, you embarrassed her on TV, dude. Jerk. I'm the next one. I'm gonna totally freaking go in there prepared. Notes, breakfast, slick suit. We're gonna have a freaking. Cut. I hope it's not boring. It's gonna be a boring story. All stiff. It's the worst show ever. That one. And Kyle talked about Gabby. Oh, 4:21. It's my birthday. <laughs> cool. Okay then. Oh, do, 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 do. 15 minutes in. Can I squeeze another one? Let's do another one. Let's squeeze another one. We're going to return to menu. Start. 
I still got my eyes are still watering. Okay, start. So let's try to do the good one. So we're going to, Kyle wakes up, he is famous, skip. Uh, Kyle's first decision in the morning was made wisely. We're going to exit the bed. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. We're going to get dressed. Open the closet. Kyle opened the closet. It was it was dark and he could only really see his hanging shirts. We're going to choose an outfit. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, not knowing how important the appearance is. Slick suit. That's, ugh, that slick suit sounds, you know, slick. I hope it's not boring. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. Slick suit. Slick suit. I'm thinking like slick as in like that's slick. That's cool. What if it's like latex? <laughs> it's a latex suit. <laughs> Jess pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Oh, that sounds kinky. <laughs> okay, back to room. Uh, Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Okay, so now I uh, no, we want to make notes. Sit it, sit at desk. Kyle made his way over to his desk to sit down, write notes for interview. Now I do want, I, I do want good questions. Kyle wrote down his first question. <laughs> These are goofy. Are you a mother? That's going to be my choice. But am I a mother? Is your mother a mother? That's so funny. Okay, are you a mother? Kyle wrote in a second question. Uh, what are some diet tips? That's a great one. Beef master blended. Oh, beef master blended. Mashed beef or blended beef? Hmm. Ever eaten a raw egg hole? We're going to do... We're going to stick... Oh, this is going to be so boring. Kyle wrote down his third question. What's your funniest story? Do you ever smile? I purposely... <laughs> What's your funniest story? Okay. That might help. That might help. Uh, Kyle wrote down his last question. Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, gosh. We have so many options here. I can do so many different interviews with all these quiffing questions. What's your guilty pleasure? We're going to do that one. That might be a fun one. Unless she's boring, too. Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. Back to desk. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. Back to room. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Exit bedroom to hallway. Because remember, we're going to go get some food from the kitchen. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together. I, I don't know why, but right now I, I hear him going, squeak, 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 squeak. Because he's in a latex suit, a slick suit. Uh, move to kitchen. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. We're going to open fridge. I didn't get the key. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Eat crust on fridge while so gross. Eat the fridge. Prepare breakfast. Eat condiments. That's gross. I guess if you had to do it really fast, that's a quick meal. Okay, prepare breakfast. Kyle constructed a breakfast of poached eggs and toast along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausage. Dude, that would make me sick. I want to know what Smash does, but... I, don't, I got 13 hours left. What the heck am I supposed to do? Eat. We're going to eat. Kyle... <laughs> I forgot about that. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. Mm. That is a tasty meatball. Mm. Mm. Grilled sausage. Fruit cup. Mm. So, I don't get that thoughtfully. It, or is he like thinking one chew, two chew, three chew to like a hundred? Because, <laughs> you know, that was the old, old like method. You had to chew your food a hundred times to make sure it fully digested. Correctly. Let's go time to time. He felt refreshed. Okay. Return to kitchen. I still have 11 hours. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Hmm. I feel like at this point I might... Ri Let's go to the tech store. Return to hallway. I have not yet done the tech store. Oh, gosh. I almost screwed nothing up. Uh, do I need to change? I feel like I need to change. We'll skip that. Uh, leave apartment. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. Visit tech store. Kyle walked into the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Jim, an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. Okay then. Ask attendant for free samples. Steal Techno Jim. Oh, I wonder if I did that. Gabby would come after me. Oh my gosh. That's something to check later. Ask attendant for free samples. Kyle asked the store attendant whether or not they offered any free samples to important customers. What? The attendant gave Kyle a confused, slightly vacant look. Kyle began to beg for his... Dude, don't be weird. Wanting Kyle to leave, the attendant grabbed a decrepit phone meant for spare parts and held it out. <laughs> okay, come on, dude. We're trying, to do a le we're trying to do a legit freaking interview. Let's not be weird. Grab with hand. Kyle took the phone place placently from the outstretched hand and... <laughs> 
Kyle took the phone pleasantly from the outstretched hand and said quietly, thanks for your service. Okay, Kyle now has the phone to use his for... What? Kyle now has this phone to use forevermore. Okay, and it's in... It's like red. Why? That's interesting. I'm assuming that's red. I have trouble seeing red and green. I'm assuming that's red. Back to store. Kyle walked into the clean tech... Okay, so we want to give review of free sample. Interesting. This phone said, Kyle, oh, pfft, said Kyle, this phone, said Kyle, is several years old and has exposed wires coming out the back. Yeah? Kyle continued, the phone, has, has, the phone also has had screen issues after I used it to hammer nails at the wall for painting. Okay, so when did you have time to do this, you liar? What a liar! Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. Okay? As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Approached Rachel. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking me in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. <laughs> I don't know what the scream and spin in circles is supposed to do, but okay. Answered politely. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Shake hands. After other mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast corner. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome up back. Oh, pff, welcome up back. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Introduce Rachel. Good. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Miss Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. I added, Miss. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. So far, so good. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. Oh, gosh, I'm going to go over all the questions. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. Dude, you should take me on your trip. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Okay, so. Um, what are some diet tips? Rachel, you managed to keep such a thin and healthy figure, said Kyle. What is your best diet tip? Well, a good diet plan starts with a plan, answered Rachel. I have a feeling that I need to answer these in a specific order. Oh, I hear cats fighting. And don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. But, she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack, a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed. She smiled. Isn't that cheating? You're lying. Kyle looked at his flabby self. <laughs> <laughs> decided to not comment and moved on. Yeah. <clears throat> Got a freaking midnight snack every night. Kyle asked another question. Um, what's your guilty pleasure? We all have one. We all have one. What's your guilty pleasure? Ooh, well, that's an easy answer, said Rachel, dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. Okay. I know other people are probably like that, but for me, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good mix for me. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same time. I eat it far too often, Rachel smiled sweetly. Kyle asked another question. Mm, are you a mother? I feel like that might be too personal at this point. What's your funniest story? Let's go with this one. You've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle, but what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. Oh my god, if I ask this mother one, she's going to be like, that's personal, dude. Shut up. I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. Oh, she's got a family. And the soup I made. What is this? Is that my phone? I think it might be my broken phone that I tried to take back and... Pfft, that was rude. And the soup I made, I swapped out the water with milk and tipped the whole jar of salt into the pot. Oh, gosh. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. I swiped their things? Wait, what? While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and... Why would you lock yourself in the room? I don't get it. I don't get that part. I mean, I get that she's embarrassed and hiding away, but she swiped their things? That's interesting. Rachel laughed elegantly. <laughs> I don't know what elegantly laugh is. Kyle, said, Kyle decided to move on. Kyle asked another question. Are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know. Are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, oh, she answered. That's not something that has crossed my mind. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. Oh, 
Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He referenced his paper of questions. After reading his final question, Kyle looked from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. She's going to ask me to go on a trip. Do you prepare for your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Uh oh she's impressed. She's impressed. Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. What? Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone well. No, dude. What'd you do? But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. Dude, you screwed up. You, I screwed up. I something. I screwed up. I'm missing something. What did I miss? What could I have possibly done to change that? Hmm. Something was still missing. Oh goodness! And Kyle prepared very well. Something's missing. Something is missing. Either I didn't do the right combination, or was the right, or the the right combination in order, the wrong order. Or I didn't do the right combination. Something was missing. She was genuinely into me. And I screwed up. What did I do wrong? Hmm. I wonder if I should have started with that mother. I should have started with the mother. Darn it! I was being too careful. Ah. Damn my gentleman nature. Shit. Okay. Well, that was Kyle was famous. With four and five, ending four and five, not ending four and five, but four and five endings unlocked. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing more. I, 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 dude, I'm gonna get freaking Rachel asking me out, dude. Something, or maybe even I ask her out if it gives me the option. We're gonna, we're going on that trip together. Damn it! But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate your support. I appreciate all of you. If you like the videos, please subscribe, uh, like the video, ring the bell for notifications. And stay golden and take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.